Welcome back to Full Stack Automation with Ruby. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with Appium um, and some tricks with Appium inspectors in regards to uh, Appium 2.0. So, uh, first of all, you want to install this uh, Appium Lib Ruby gem. And to do that, you just add it to your gem file bundle install and then you can require it from your cucumbers feature support m.rb uh, right here and you should be good to go uh, I have a mobile hooks file um, where we keep the Appium configuration uh, it auto detects which directory you're in so if you're in this mobile you'll get the Appium configuration basically uh, for free so uh, right here, I'm just doing input output, the Appium version that we can store in this variable. Um, and then we need our capabilities or caps for short. Uh, and we just need iOS for this test. Uh, we're going to use XCUI test for the automation name. Um, we'll put this version down in here just so we can see what we're running, when we're running it. And I moved the FSR app inside, uh, inside the support folder here so it's always available to everybody um, <clears throat> I also do a move here with update on caps if uh, there's an environment version they want to pass in from the command line or else it just defaults to the latest 15 uh, and iPhone 13 same idea with that um, so yeah we can default or just update on the fly from the command line I'm here just putting out caps to see what we got and so then it's time to initialize the Appium driver um, and we're going to use our caps and our Appium lib is server URL is going to be the 4723 so we don't have the Appium server running yet um, so let's do that but once yeah once that's up and running uh, it just declares the mobile driver to start driver um, and then I also just uh, show what the device info is with this execute script uh, in the console output while it's running again so yeah let's get to the Appium let's say install very simple uh, it's using node um, so you can install node here with brew install node Looks like I have version 16. Oops. 16.10. Um, very simple to install. And then you just go with npm, I'm gonna install G Appium. Uh, so let's try that. I already have it installed, but I can run it again. Okay, so Appium's installed uh, <clears throat> in uh, Appium 2.0. The drivers are now maintained separately. So um, you're gonna wanna install the drivers uh, independently from Appium. So there's some documentation there on how to do that. Um, I'll just jump over to uh, some of my aliases We'll take a look at those. So AL Appium driver list updates. We can try that. So we have one installed, the XCUI test, but you can see the list of other drivers that are out there. If you want to install them, you would just do Appium install the driver name. Um, also have can update with X Appium driver update XUI test um, and then we'll get to this in a minute I want to show the importance of the allow cores um, but we can just do the basic Appium uh, command that should start our server so we're looking at port 4732 
4723 right here. So we're good with that. We have our XUI tests. We're going to be running with that. Um, so everything looks good to go here. Um, so if I jump back into another terminal and let's run our mobile scenario here uh, for FSAR. In the iPhone 13 simulator version 15.5, which we set up, or 15.0. <coughs> um, so that looks good. There is this other tool out with uh, Appium 2.0, which allows you to run Appium Inspector from the browser. Um, the only problem is when you try to start a new session, you get this error. Uh, could not connect to server. So what you need to do is jump over into uh, do, 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 is it arguments. You need to add this allow cores flag, uh, which allows you to connect from that browser inspector. Uh, so we'll restart our Appium server, and we'll pass in this flag. So that's up and running again. Now when we go into our Appium Inspector via the browser, we refresh and we should be able to start a new session. Yeah, so this is really nice. You don't have to download and deal with different versions. It's always the latest and greatest uh, maintained by the uh, core team at Appium. So yeah, just go ahead and start up the app. And if we refresh in our inspector, we can see our app and we can do things like clear what's in there and it'll do that for us. We can send keys uh, with the Appium inspector. Pretty neat. Um, so yeah, that's how you, some of the overviews on how to install Appium um, and how to get up and running with this new Appium inspector, which is really, really nice uh, and it makes productivity and developing uh, new Appium tests much easier. So thanks for watching.